Let's talk about preliminary statements and introductory paragraphs in court papers in high profile legal disputes. Hi everyone, my name is Wayne Pollock. I am an attorney who helps other attorneys and their clients ethically, strategically, and proactively engage the court of public opinion. In this video, how attorneys need to use preliminary statements and introductory paragraphs in their court papers when they're involved in high profile legal disputes. Most attorneys already are using preliminary statements and introductory paragraphs in their court papers to provide a roadmap to the court and opposing counsel uh, of the factual arguments and legal arguments that the attorneys are making in those court papers. But when an attorney is involved in a high profile case, they need to go one step beyond that. Uh, in a high profile case, attorneys can expect court papers to be read by the media and through the media, the general public. So what an attorney has to do with a preliminary statement or an introductory paragraph in these types of cases uh, when they're filing their court papers is to not just summarize and provide this roadmap, but to also connect those arguments, factual or legal, with the bigger picture themes that the attorneys want to resonate with eventually a jury, but in the meantime, the public and the opposing parties and their counsel. It's important that attorneys take this step back and use these preliminary statements and introductory paragraphs in this manner because it's really the only opportunity where an attorney can stray a little bit from the legalese and the otherwise dense content that is in a typical court filing. Remember, you are having the public and the media read court filings in high profile cases and these people aren't used to diving in to a typical court filing. So even a court filing that you and I might think is fairly breezy, you know, 10 pages long, not very detailed or in depth, for the normal non-lawyer reader, it's going to be a hurdle to understand and digest. So if you are using your preliminary statements uh, or your introductory paragraphs in a high profile case to weave in the themes that you want to resonate uh, the bigger picture themes that aren't necessarily purely legal arguments, I think that that does a much better job of connecting with audiences outside of court. It doesn't also hurt that you are making these arguments in your preliminary statements, you're, you're, you're using this language in a way that shows opposing counsel and the judge in the case and their clerks the bigger picture of the case and it's not just about the legal and factual arguments but you're giving them a chance to have an understanding of the bigger issue that this legal dispute is causing and why they uh, can do all they can or why uh, they can't help but feel that you are in the right and your client is in the right. Obviously, if you are going to the media in a high profile case, you're hopefully using other documents like press releases, like fact sheets or FAQs to help educate the media and the public regarding the substance of the legal dispute. But remember, sometimes there's no substitute for the actual court paper or, or court filing. So when you are involved in a high profile case, you want to make sure that your court filing is written in a way that can connect with non-attorney readers. And because of the nature of court papers, you really want to keep that non-legalese and that more uh, breezy, more um, easily digested content in the introductory paragraphs or the preliminary statement. I would advise attorneys who are working on any of their cases, not just high profile cases, to start getting in the habit of weaving in themes um, in their preliminary statements and introductory paragraphs. And once they get that habit and that muscle memory, I think they'll be much better equipped for when there is a true high profile case where they can help the media and the public understand the substance of that case by weaving in bigger picture themes into their introductory paragraphs and their preliminary statement.